Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video is a first look at me upgrading my Windows 10 Pro PC to Windows 11 and just seeing really how the process goes and if it goes through smoothly. So at the moment, Windows 11 hasn't been officially released, but I've got a preview version. I've burnt it onto a CD, I've shoved it in my CD drive and uh, let's go ahead and uh, start installing it and see what happens. So there you go, it's preparing just like Windows 10 did and I just click next on there and it's now checking to see if there's any updates to the update process or the upgrade process, should I say. And there we go, now it's checking my PC to make sure that it's compatible with Windows 11. It now says it's getting a few things ready and yep, it looks like it's passed. So it's now asking me to accept the agreement. So obviously, as we always do, we read through that and click the accept button. So uh, now it's actually getting some updates. This bit might take a bit of time, so I'm gonna pause this video while it's doing that and we'll come back to it once it's downloaded the updates. Okay, so it's downloaded updates and it's just making sure that we're ready to install. So it's come up and it's told us what uh, needs our attention and it's saying continuing with the installation of Windows will change your display language. To change it back, you'll need to reinstall the language pack. Okay, so that's fine. So I just click on okay. And there we go. So it's making sure the PC has enough space. And uh, yes, okay, so it's saying here that it's gonna install Windows 11 Pro and it's gonna keep our personal files and apps and just like windows 10 upgrade i can change what i want to keep i can say keep personal files and apps keep personal files only so it removes the apps or keep nothing and just do a whole fresh install of windows with no personal files and no apps but i'm going to leave it on the first one so there you go so uh, it's now continuing to get some more updates and now it's back to saying making sure you're ready to install Okay, so we've come back to this screen here. I'm just gonna click install. And there we go, it's now installing Windows. Now this bit could take an hour or more, maybe even like a lot more than that, but I'm gonna pause this video while it's doing this part and we'll come back to it when uh, it's on the next part of the installation. Okay, so the percentage went up to 100% and it now says your PC will restart in a few moments. Okay, so uh, the PC is now restarting. And as you can see, we've got the new Windows 11 logo come up. And there you go, it says working on updates, please keep your computer on. It says your computer may restart a few times. Okay, so this bit is gonna take quite a while. So what we do is we're gonna come back to it after this section has finished and the PC's restarted a few times and uh, see where we're at. Okay, so uh, the that part of the installation has now completed and uh, it's just doing a few more little bits and bobs. So it says this might, may take a few minutes, don't turn off your PC. And it's just given us another message there, please keep your PC on and plugged in. Now it's saying good things coming your way. Almost there. And here we go, we're into Windows 11 and the Start menu has now appeared, the new Start menu. So I'm just gonna click on the Start button there and uh, let's just see if Windows is activated still. So uh, let's do that. And yes, it says Windows 11 Pro, Windows is activated with a digital license. So it does look like that you can actually upgrade free of charge from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So it does look quite likely that Microsoft are going to allow you to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 free of charge, although that's not been confirmed, but it's looking, looking likely from this uh, upgrade that I've just done. So there you go. That is the upgrade process from Windows 10 to Windows 11. 
I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.